So I ended up ordering a new charger for my phone. I got those already, but I also ordered a heater, like a aquarium heater for my 2.5 gallon, and I also ordered a lid for it. Let me show you which tank I'm talking about so that you can see. Okay, so I ordered a heater for this tank. This one doesn't have one. Um, I finally found one that I liked and ordered it. This water is really cold, so it's good that I ordered a heater for this one. And then I also ordered a glass lid, which hopefully will fit this tank. I think somebody had a similar tank as mine. I think I could be wrong. And they had a, they bought this certain type of lid that I got and it fit it. So hopefully it'll be the right lid for this one. We'll see. I don't know how this light's going to work once I have that on there. I'm probably going to have to take this off and switch it with one of my other aquarium lights that are my other beta fish tanks. So we'll have to see what happens. But I'm just excited to get a heater for this tank again because this house is always freaking freezing cold. And this guy can be warm. But I think what I might do, I might switch him out with my orange fish. I'll show you which one. And put him into my shrimp tank and then bring the orange fish in here. Just because he's kind of struggling to swim. And I think that orange fish would be better in a smaller aquarium like this. In the future, I will make this into just a shrimp tank. But let me show you my um, shrimp tank. So this is my shrimp tank. There's no more shrimp in here anymore. They all died. I don't know why. It's unfortunate. I have no idea. I think I didn't have proper shrimp food, it would be my guess. Because maybe they weren't molting correctly or something. I don't know. But there's no shrimp in here anymore. They're all gone. And I, so I just decided to give this tank a clean up. And I took out the big stick that was in here. And I put it into that aquarium for now. I'm not sure if I'll keep it in there. But we'll see. But this is what this is looking like. I like it better like this because you can actually kind of see everything better and it looks more clean. And when I need to clean this out, I can usually just put the thing in and through here instead of having that big stick. Probably will get rid of this in the future too, but I just have this set up like this for now until I get some white sand to kind of finish this look. But this is what it's looking like. This is the orange fish that I'm going to probably take out of here and move him into that smaller tank. Just because I said like earlier, he's kind of struggling to swim, so... I think he would probably like a smaller tank where he doesn't have to swim that high up just to get some air. So, we'll see. Um, yeah, this is what I did with this tank again. Nothing too fancy, but at least this way you can see things better. And, yeah, I think once I get white sand, probably going to keep the rocks like this. Maybe go back and get some more rocks. And just have like a border like this and then all white sand. I think this would look really pretty. Because all of my tanks, they all have like black sand and I'm trying to change things up a bit. Because I want this one to have white sand. As well as this one to have some white sand. But we'll see. I'll probably have to use one of these lights for that aquarium. So I'm thinking maybe this one will go into that tank. I'm not entirely sure. And then I'll bring the longer one in here. So we'll see how that plays out. You guys, I have this crows waiting for me to come feed them. You want some water? Yes? Oh, they need some fresh water too and some food. I'm going to go do that. Before we feed the crows, let me just show you guys my little stick thing I have in here. I moved this stick back in here for now, just cause. And then I also moved these plant thingamajiggers here. We'll see how that goes, the little moss or whatever. I think that's what it's called. There used to be this castle in there, which I might probably move back, cause I did kind of like the castle in there, but I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so I did drop some food. Look at them, they're so cute. Very smart birds. They saw me coming here and then they ran away when I opened the curtains. But they're so beautiful. I do have some like leftover, um, whatchamacallit, leftover celery that is going bad. So I think I'm going to mix a little bit of that with some more dog food and some other things in there and just kind of feed it to them and see if they like it. And yeah. And then I'll set up my phone outside so you can try to record that.
Hey guys, so um, I received my package here in the mail, which I'm excited. So I got this heater. I got this, I think, for like, I don't know how much. I don't want to give you the wrong price, but very, very cheap. So I think this usually costs like 20 something bucks at the, at the store. So I don't know, or something similar to that. And then I got this thing, which I have to be careful with this one because this is glass and I don't want it to break. I'm going to set this one first and show you guys how it looks. Okay, so this is the tank for the glass lid. It says fits 2.5 gallon aquarium, which is what my tank is the one at least for the by the coffee thing. Alright guys, so it's a glass lid, just as expected, just a piece of glass. You should be very careful to not break. And then there is also this little thing that goes on top. Okay guys, so this fits perfectly on my 2.5 gallon tank if you're curious what tank i have i have the tank that has this black trim on the bottom only and on the top it's a rimless so 2.5 gallons the lid is also 2.5 if i remember i'll link it in the description below i got it on amazon or you can just always message me or leave a comment there and i'll link it if i forget if you're interested i attached this thing that it came with oops the lid so it fits perfectly. The only issue is that this stuff here kind of sticks out, which is not a big deal because I'm not like, you know, the fish need to breathe anyway, so some air needs to escape out there. And also the heater is in here, so I'm looking forward to it to warm the tank up. Hopefully it'll be nice and warm. I do need to scrub this. And I think I'm going to do a little water change in here and take this guy out and put him in the shrimp tank and then take the orange guy and bring him in here. I think that's what I'm going to do. We shall see, because I think he would be better in this tank, because he doesn't have to swim as much. But yeah, here is this tank. It's looking good. Loving this thing. And I also added this light in here that was on my um, one of my smaller nano tanks. I added this one here instead, because with this light that I had originally on here, this wouldn't be able to go on here because now that I added this thing here. So yeah by the way the tank does come with um, brackets these little things for the glass lid to buy in the future it's just it didn't come with a glass lid so you have to buy that separately okay guys so i have this light on this aquarium right now and it looks so much better on this tank like it makes everything look much much brighter so i do have two orange betas this is my crown tail it's orange a little bit of blue on him he's getting more blue to his coloring which is really nice but he's in here. I do have a heater in this tank, but it's right there. I don't know if it works properly or if it heats the aquarium that well. So I'm probably going to get the same heater for this tank. And then I'm going to get one for this tank. This tank doesn't have one for some reason. I don't know. But usually I do have heaters in my tanks. It's just this guy, he used to be in my 55. And this was just an extra tank that I had in storage. That wasn't used. And then I filled it up this year. And put him in there, so... I need to get a heater for this tank or see if I can maybe move that one into here and yeah we'll see how that works these are just all my fish medication things I need to move this here a little bit but fix this up a little bit fish food all these things anyways so yeah that's this tank over here I think though this lights obviously too big for this tank in the future i will order another one that doesn't extend that high up and yeah we'll do that for this tank but this is what it's looking like for now at least he's got a lot more lighting in here and we'll see how the plants grow with this light i mean they did good with the other light that was on this one the smaller light that was on here i moved to the other tank that i just showed you guys so yeah that's good that is all nice and clean and looking good so this is the orange beta that I want to take out from here and move into that smaller tank. But I'm just going to leave it for now. Let him be. So I moved my orange via tail in here just because there's less swimming in here. Like he doesn't have to swim up that high or whatever. Which is good because they do need to breathe like air to go to the surface and things. And he isn't doing that great. I don't know. Hopefully... He'll be doing better. He was a, he was doing better at first, and then now he got bad again. So I don't know what we're gonna do, but I'm trying to keep this tank as minimal as possible. 
So this is just how I designed it and I added his little floating leaf over there. Hopefully the heater will do its job and keep this tank nice and warm. So I have my coffee stuff here. Because again, this is just where we drink coffee. I have to refill this. Take this out. And in here, I added the fish that was in that tank in here for now. Here he is. His fins aren't the greatest either, just because I think my heater, I didn't have a heater in there. So hopefully now that he's in this tank, this tank does have a heater, by the way, right there, and it works. This tank is nice and warm, so he can, you know, hopefully start healing and getting back to himself. And yeah, and in the future, I'll just get some white sand in here, fix it up. I will get shrimp again one day, but I'm going to wait till I get the proper food for it, because I think, I don't know, I guess the food that I had wasn't enough. So I need to get, like, some shrimp food that has calcium and things like that to help with it. He's It's going to take him a while to figure out where he needs to drink from to get air or whatever, or whatever surface area, because it's just a small opening right here, so he'll get that figured out, and he'll know he needs to come in that area for air. But, yeah, he's a beautiful beta, too. It's just his colors aren't doing that great but now they will since he's in here and i'm trying, i'm gonna try and not overfeed this tank i have a problem with overfeeding this tank because i used to have a lot of snails and shrimp and things in here so i'm just gonna feed it less i guess i don't know okay i'm going to feed the fish and hopefully they'll come out and eat well they will but i'm here so they're a little scared right now what are you doing, Zeusy? Hi, Clifford. You got your toy? Good boy. Here's the fish. Hopefully they'll go down and eat. I love my koi fish. Look at him. So freaking beautiful. There he goes. You see him? The white one right there. Beautiful. Zeus is sitting in the sun, or that's where he's going to hang out. Okay, they found their food. It's another beautiful day. Zeus and I think we're going to sit here in the sun a little bit. Come here, boys. Gigi. Come here, Clifford. Did you look at that? Lucy's investigating over here. Ha oh, boo boo. It's a gorgeous day. What are you doing, Lucy? Uh, it's a glorious day. I want to see if I can go out and do something with my mom. Just don't know what to do. There's not much to do where we live. It's just the beach, which I guess is fine, but it gets old going to the beach often and always like, I don't know. Sorry, my. The sun is kind of bright, so my head's a little bit in. I got a small headache, so. Yeah. I'm just dealing with that. At least I think it's a headache. It's probably about to become one, but I took something for it, so hopefully it'll go away. What you boys doing? What you boys doing? Junior likes to chase, like, the light. Like, when I play with the phone, and he, ch he likes to chase the light's reflection, I guess. I don't know what you'd call it. But, yeah, my phone's been really bad lately. I think it's coming to its end, so it's a bummer. I'm deciding what phone I want. I think I might just get the small one, the SE, like what my mom has, because that one's easy to hold and it's cheaper. I would love the iPhone, iPhone 14 Pro or something, just the 14, I guess. But that one's a little bit more expensive, so I think we might, we might just settle with the SE temporarily for now. Maybe get like the red one. Bye, Zeus! Hey guys, so I'm going out with my mom for a little bit. Don't know where we're going or what we're doing, but we're going out. So that's good. Where are you going? This is an indoor bar. Here comes Shifka. She's got some donuts for us. Donuts. Look at this cool bell thing that was not here before, I don't think. Stage to perform. There's Mother Goose. Say hi. Hi. Ice cream pan and some cute whales. <laughs> 